creation that's against Hashem, new form of Abu Dazara, has put us in a situation that's more dangerous than any other time in history. Any other time in history. What is the situation that we're in right now? The Gemara in Masechet Sota, page 49, says there's going to be certain things that happen before Mashiach comes. Very difficult things. We did a recent film about it. Different prophecies that are going to happen. But in so many words, to sum it up, it says that the situation in the world is going to be unbearable. Unbearable. To such an extent, everyone is going to have to question themselves. The guy with the hat and the beard, and the guy that just put on a keeper for the first time. The Goy and the Jew. The one that's looking for the truth, the one that doesn't know what he's looking for. Everyone is going to have to question themselves. It's going to be difficult to stay close to Hashem because you're not going to know what's real and what's not. Now what's happening right now, secretly, but in plain sight, is the most dangerous thing that ever happened in history. And what it is, is messianic form of Christianity that calls itself Judaism. To such an extent that if you ask them, what are you? They say, we're Jews. So for the first time ever, for the first time in history, you have the Christians now calling themselves Jews. You now have people that call themselves Jews and you actually don't know if they're Jews or not. This is a problem. Because in the past, if you look at 2,000 years ago, even though the Greeks and the Romans, Imach Shimon Bezichram, killed us, tortured us, they did us a favor. Why was the favor? They only killed our flesh. You want to convert? No. Dead. You want to be a Roman? No. Dead. You want to be a Greek? No. Dead. They did us a favor. Because they only killed the body, the soul, Gan Eden. But in today's world, what they're trying to do in Machshimam is they're trying to kill the soul. They're trying to tell you, listen, come to our synagogue, our messianic synagogue, and go worship Yoshke. JC Penny, he's our Messiah, he's our this, he's our that. But they don't tell you right away about J.C. Penny. They tell you, no, we're Jews. We're just, we call, we're a new tradition. We're modern. We're this, we're that. A few weeks into it, you realize it's not even Judaism. But by then, you're already stuck. You're already friendly with a few people. You already like the guy who calls himself a rabbi. He wears a talit. He wears a kippah. He doesn't look any different than me. If anything, he looks more hip. Looks more modern. Looks more with the times. And Yaakov Avinu already gave us the prophecy about this over 4,000 years ago. When he said in Parashat Vaishlach to Hashem, he cried out to Hashem before he came and met with Esav. After running away from Esav for several decades, he had to come back. But in Parashat Vaishlach, the book of Bereshit, Genesis, Chapter 32, verse 12. It says, Rescue me, please. He's talking to Hashem. Rescue me, please, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esav. For I fear him, lest he come and strike me down, mother and children. So Chazal asks, wait a minute. We know there's not even one extra letter, let alone not one extra word in the entire Torah. So what is Yaakov Avinu doing here? Reminding us that Esav is his brother. What, Hashem doesn't know? Okay, you want Hashem, rescue me from my brother. We know you're talking about Esav, you only have one brother. Rescue me from Esav, we know that's your brother. So why does he say, rescue me please, 
from the hand of my brother, from the hand of a son. There's a redundancy here. There's a superfluous word. What's happening here? Hazal gives us the chidush. And I learned this with Rabbi Ephraim when I told him about what's happening. And he told me, yeah, of course, this is already a prophecy of 4,000 years. Baruch Hashem, it's happening because we know that Mashiach is that much closer. What is this prophecy? It says, Hashem, when Esav is Esav, we know he's Esav. When Esav is Edom, we know he's Edom. Why? He's killing us. When he's the Roman, when he's the Greek, when he's the Nazi, we know it's him. He's trying to kill us. Rescue me from that hand. The problem is not when he's Esav. The problem is when he plays like he's my brother, Hashem Irachim. And I don't know if he's Esav or not. The problem is when he looks like me, acts like me, and thinks like me, but not really. And this is why in the verse it says, rescue me from my brother, and then from Esav. Because my brother is much scarier than Esav. Because I know who Esav is. I know where Dom is. My brother? I don't know. I don't know. Now unless we tell people the truth, whether they're already in the Messianic Abu Dazara, whether they're in conservative shuls and reform shuls, whether they are anywhere, if we don't tell them, how are they going to know? 